right, so we got some more cool toys to install on this sled. This is a Team Tide clutch by Team Aftermarket. So the really cool thing about this clutch is this. As the belt is forced down between the two sheaves, the sheaves move axially. See how they don't twist? So what that means for you is, when the belt goes down, it's not wearing as much, there's not as much heat, smoother transfer of power to your track. Now that's pretty cool, I like that. This might weigh a little bit more than our old clutch, but that extra weight I'm willing to take on because I want the performance gains. Let's get this thing together. When you call Team Aftermarket, you wanna make sure you tell them how you're gonna be riding this sled, what kind of sled it is, and all the information that you can. They know that I boondock with this thing, I'm not climbing any mountains, I'm at about sea level, maybe 1,000, 2,000 feet, and that's it. So they sent me the proper spring and the helix for my type of driving. The kit comes with the clutch, all the hardware that we need, the instruction manual, and I also ordered this uh, clutch compression tool, the spring compression tool, because we need to install this spring inside the clutch. Very easy to do, check it out. Take your pliers. Now you need to take note of this little notch right here when you're installing this. All right, otherwise these teeth won't align. There are a couple of alignment marks on here to make your life a little easier. There's an X right here. And there's an X on here. You have to make sure you align those and the little notch on that. Put your spring in. Align your X. Make sure to put your circlip in place before you put your compression tool on because you won't be able to get it on there. I'm just gonna give this just a little tiny spray of lubricant. Makes it spin easier. Now as you come down to where it needs to align, you can just jiggle it around. And I'm gonna just set this little circlip into place on the shaft. There we go. Now I can slide it all the way down. Release the pressure on the spring. Our spring is installed. Just keep it steady. Kind of thing. Putting that spring in there wasn't very hard at all. Now it's ready to go on the sled. Before you do that, just make sure you put a very light coat of synthetic grease on the shaft or any kind of grease for that matter. It'll be easy to take this off in the future if you have to. Now, you gotta use your stock spacer that came on your jack shaft. Install that. As per the manual says, the instruction manual, install two of these shims. Now, if you have a 2003 newer rev style sled, you gotta put three of those on. Or if you have a different kind of sled, just follow the directions. The instructions are very detailed. So I'm just gonna install that. Now we just install our retaining bolt. There, now I've just tightened that up. Before we do anything else, you need to check the clutch alignment. Do you know what? I don't have my engine in yet, so I can't do it right now. Keep watching, we'll get her done.